Clarence Thomas. You may know Clarence Thomas from such places as the Supreme Court. Well, you may not know he was once a Monsanto attorney, and now he is going to be ruling in pre presumably in favor of Monsanto on the Supreme Court, Lewis. This is yet another example of how the Supreme Court, like every other aspect of American government, can be bought, can be corrupted. And we've been covering for a while Samuel Alito's speaking at political events, even though judges are, are to avoid political events, political gatherings. He's giving a speech at a political fundraiser. We've been talking about Clarence Thomas's wife working for groups that would have interests that are presented and heard at the Supreme Court. So this is not new, Lewis. No, not new at all. However, it is new that now we are seeing this move on to even Monsanto, a company that Clarence Thomas was once an attorney for. And we're talking about Monsanto versus Geertsen Seed Farms. This is number 09475. The Supreme Court is going to hear arguments in this case, which could have a huge effect on the future of the American food industry, we've, which we've talked about for a while. We've talked about Monsanto and their practices of suing farmers who simply end up inadvertently having Monsanto seeds blow into their farmland and sprout, sprout uh, plants, sprout crops, and then being sued. So this is a, a huge deal. This is Monsanto's third appeal of the case. If they win a favorable ruling, this could lead to complete further deregulation of Monsanto and the food industry, and, and essentially Monsanto cornering the markets of numerous U.S. crops and push conventional farming and conventional farmers into oblivion. Right. So you're assuming that the ruling will be in favor of Monsanto. Yeah, I mean, from the years 76 to 79, Thomas worked as an attorney for Monsanto, and he should be recusing himself. I mean, regardless of what... But will the entire Supreme Court rule in favor of Monsanto? One of nine is bad enough. He, he should recuse himself. He shouldn't be involved Wait, but hold in those. Hold on a second. Is he receiving money from Monsanto now in any form? I'm not sure. You're I talking mean, about retirement, pension, something like that? Yeah, anything. I don't know. But Probably Thomas, not. Thomas has, does not see this as a conflict of interest and has not recused himself. He says this is just not a conflict of interest. Is it against the law for him to not recuse himself? Well, the, that's the thing. The laws are written in such a way where, you know, it's ambiguous. Impropriety or the appearance of impropriety should be avoided. Well, he can just say, this doesn't appear to be imp impropriety to me. Mm -hmm. Plain and simple. Who's going to argue with him? And who's going to pass any type of legislation that would require judges to recuse themselves in situations like these? Exactly. Never going to happen. Absolutely. So be aware that that's going on. Follow that. Uh, go to Facebook.com slash David Pakman Show. Go to DavidPakman.com and get yourself a t-shirt or a sweatshirt like the one Lewis is wearing, David Pakman Show gear, made from 100% recycled materials. Let's take a break. Plenty more to talk to you about, including Rush Limbaugh, Sarah Palin, Rush's advertises, uh, advertisers, gas prices, Pat Robertson. So much still to come, Lewis. So stay tuned. We'll be back after this. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.